just finished my run and I ran two miles on the dot. The duration was 20 minutes and 23 seconds and my average pace was 10 minutes and 11 seconds per mile. So I'm trying to train for this 5K. I have not ran more than two miles. I feel like once I hit that two miles, my body just automatically shuts off and I'm like, good job today, Julia. But to run that 5K with my sisters, I think I have to run a little over like three miles. So we'll get there. We have like maybe two, three months. So good luck to me. Anyways, it is that time of year where the weather is getting so much nicer and it just motivates me to go out and move, exercise, eat healthier, and in turn, I have been researching and learning a lot more about how I can better my health. If you didn't know, May is Digestive Health Month and I'm partnering up with Seed to share some in-season foods to support a healthy gut microbiome and overall digestive health. One food that I love to incorporate in my meals is arugula and as we all know by now, I love my lunch salads so I always have some arugula in there not only because it's tasty but it's also a great source of vitamins, minerals, and phytochemicals. At the end of the day, your inputs like the food you eat, the things you drink, your probiotics, they all have a direct impact on your digestive health and in turn your outputs as well like your bodily excretions. That is why it's so important to eat microbiome friendly foods and take a scientifically validated symbiotic to nourish your gut microbiome. So that is exactly what I've been doing for the past three weeks. I've been incorporating Seed's DS01 daily symbiotic into my everyday morning routine. DS01 contains probiotic strains that have been clinically and scientifically studied to provide benefits around gastrointestinal function, skin health, heart health, gut immune function, gut barrier integrity, and micronutrient synthesis. If you're looking to invest in your health, I'd highly recommend you check out Seed's spring seeding event, and you can use my code JuliaFay for 30% off your first month supply of DS01 Daily Symbiotic. You want to take the wide end of the tie, and you want to wrap it around the narrow end. And now we have completely finished our four in hand knot. We have Yuna, we have Celeste, she's our Eugen, she's our Kao, yeah. and this is our Ray. <laughs> I'm also the oldest and tallest. <laughs> Actually, I think um, Zishin's taller than me. Oh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm one of the oldest and the tallest no, ones. You are the oldest. <laughs> Turn this off. <laughs> This is me on a Friday night at 12 a.m. massaging my scalp. I've been editing this work week video nonstop for the past three hours and I feel like there's still so much to do. But um, if y'all are watching this video, it means that this video that I'm currently editing is up. So please go watch it. If you also, my mom is coming down to visit tomorrow, or actually today, uh, because it's already past midnight. And my place is so messy, so I might need to do like a midnight cleaning session. This is her first time visiting this apartment since I've moved in, but she is like not easily impressed. So I feel like no matter how nice I make it look, she's gonna be like, yeah. It's fine.
so I'm about to go pick up my mom from Grand Central Terminal. She's coming down to celebrate her birthday and also Mother's Day. So I'm gonna have a little girl's day with her. My sisters are gonna meet us and we're gonna take her shopping, eat some good food, just celebrate her. So it's gonna be a very fun day and I'll take y'all along with me. The outfit, I might be a little overdressed because it is very hot today. So we'll see if this sweater comes off, but this is my favorite pullover from Cotton. I have a little tank underneath. This pearl necklace is from In Route, I believe. And the skirt is from, I got it from Revolve. I don't know which specific brand, but I'll link everything down below in the description box. And finally, I got some new shoes. These are some Salomons. Um, I was debating on getting the, just like the classic XT6s, but I wanted something different. So I got these and they are so cute. I actually lost my pair of Nikes in the move last summer so I've been without like a nice pair of sneakers for a while so I got these and I think they're so cute I obviously have a commitment issue because I actually haven't pulled the tags off yet but I need to and this is my bag and we are gonna head out So she wants everything, basically. Just starting to pack. I want to like put everything in my carry-on, like this small one, and then put the carry-on inside the large luggage. Because to be honest, I don't think I have too much to bring, and I also want to go shopping. <laughs> it's also usually very humid there, so I like to bring a lot of dresses. So I have like three or four packed. I also just got this one from W Concept from a brand called Flowoo. I love the neckline of this piece and it's like in between formal and casual and you know, on vacation you want to look a little dressed up and a little elevated and this is definitely the piece for that. W Concept also sent over this pair of jeans from Diagonal which I am debating on bringing because it is very hot there so I don't know how often I'll wear jeans but I've been wearing this pair a lot just around daily in New York City and I love the dark denim look these days and I like the stitching on the outside and lastly they sent over these shoes 
from Ash Gray Studios. They are so cute. I'm definitely bringing these with me since I already wore it. It also came with this lovely dust bag, so I'm gonna put this in here and pack it up. So for my trip, the itinerary is that I'm going to be spending most of my time in my dad's hometown, which is Guangzhou. I'm gonna be spending a total of two and a half weeks there, and I'm gonna spend a day or two in Hong Kong. And then I'm also going to be visiting Shanghai for the first time, so I'm going to be spending like four or five days there. Growing up, I did spend most of my summers in Guangzhou, probably since, I don't know, second grade all the way until college. Even for college, I went for at least a month during winter break every single year. So I definitely see Guangzhou as like my second home. Sometimes I feel straddled between these two worlds because they're so vastly different, but at the same time, I feel like they both make me who I am today. But yeah, I am just very excited to take you along with me and show you this other side of my life that I actually haven't been able to show people before. My friends growing up only hear me talk about my experiences growing up there in the summer, but like now there's this visual component to it because I vlog now. Anyways, I'm really bad at multitasking, so I am just folding my clothes, but for me to fully concentrate on packing and compartmentalizing everything, I need to stop vlogging and talking. So I'm going to end this vlog here, I'm going to finish packing because my flight is in like 48 hours, and I will see you all in China. Alright, bye!